Hello and welcome everyone to Elmas Market Mornings, your daily dose of global financial updates. Uh, now there is some temporary quietness or an uneasy lull in the markets as of today morning. Uh, stocks in Asia have opened in green. Uh, U.S. equities are pointing slightly higher, and there has been some retreat in Treasuries. Maybe it is just some calmness before the next set of data releases in July, or maybe it is just something else. Uh, Pankaj, take us through your thoughts on the markets right now. Uh, good morning, Sarvaj. Good, ma- good morning, everyone. Uh, U.S. markets were closed yesterday for June, June 20th, 20th, a federal holiday that observes the end of slavery in the U.S. This holiday they started in somewhere in 2020. Uh, that led, uh, and last week's high volatility led to a calmer market yesterday. There was not much of activity uh, happened in the global market. Now, as we step into Asian uh, trading today, the sentiments some Im- somewhat improved. U.S. futures are up 1%, and European stock market Similarly, uh, up by almost uh, same magnitude, by bond yields are plus minus 10 basis point on the 10 year uh, years in Europe. If you look at the data now, uh, German PPI, which came marginally higher, uh, but most of the focus is there on the central banks, how central bankers are speaking. So yesterday, ECB President Lagarde spoke about inflation and mentioned that it's very high. ECB must act. Uh, it looks like they will definitely raise 25 basis in July. Market would be surprised if they raise 50. Uh, on the anti-fragmentation instrument, Lagarde again mentioned that tools must be and should be effective uh, to take care of a fighting fragmentation. But at the same point of time, uh, it should not be impacting much of a core part. But that's all part of the ECB mandate to control this. Other side of the markets like US, US central bankers uh, continued, uh, like James Bullard yesterday said that Fed must meet market expectations, which is currently around 75 basis rate hike in the July. And uh, even after the Fed governor Waller uh, speak the same language in last weekend. Market would be looking at the Powell's testimony, which is there on Wednesday and Thursday uh, to US Senate Banking Committee and House of Committee on uh, House Committee on Financial Services. Now, Powell would not be able to say something new because just now in, a, in the last week FOMC uh, meeting and after that press conference he has already shared his thoughts. But market and committee, sorry, market would be left, you know, looking at committee probing uh, Powell on the chances or likelihood of recession in US in coming years. Yesterday there was another news in, uh, where in France, the uh, President Macron party has failed to secure a majority in parliament. Euro USD did not budge much on that, uh, maybe because of a US holiday. But market would be now observing how Macron government will govern and which alliances will be formed uh, for securing or uh, basically policy to policy decision, how they will be going ahead. Uh, another part is basically uh, Bank of Japan and Ministry of Finance in, in Japan. They both of them reiterated that they want to control inflation and uh, keeping yield curve control intact. And uh, that's the region uh, uh, USD JPY moved higher than 135 also yesterday. It's a 24 year low, what happened uh, of yen against the dollar. And to keeping the yield curve curve or yield cap intact, uh, BOJ bought USD USD 81 billion worth of dollars uh, last week. And that's a huge number. Uh, Indian 10 year GSEC yield fell by 5 basis to 7.44 percent uh, post fall in oil prices and US 20 yield. Uh, looks like 735 will hold for a much longer uh, on 10 year GSEC yield. Uh, yesterday, there was a first day when USD INR closed below 78 after almost a week traded above rupees 78. Last week, it did not close below 78, and Monday itself, it closed below 78. I presume that uh, today market will trade in the range of 77, 85 to 78, 05, or maybe 78, 10 also possible, because there's some outflow would be happening after Monday, US Day holiday. Uh, that's all from me. Thank you. Have a nice day. Okay. Thank you, Pankaj. That was uh, crisp. And now, even though markets have been calm because of a US holiday, it's important to not become complacent in managing our risk. Uh, have a good day. We'll see you all tomorrow. Thank you.